Difference and difference estimation is a popular method of causal inference that allows researchers to determine the impact of an event or treatment on a population by looking at the difference in an outcome variable between the population that received the treatment or was impacted by the event and a population that did not. If the study includes a treatment or event that impacts every individual at the same time, estimation of the impact can be done with simple least squares and dummy variables. However, in recent years, a number of researchers have started to introduce studies where the treatment population may receive treatment at different dates. In such cases, the standard approach has been to estimate a panel two-way fixed effects model to isolate the impact of treatment among groups who are treated at different times. Recently, however, there have been studies that show the two-way fixed effects model may not always be appropriate, and other estimation methods have been introduced. These studies include Goodman-Bacon 2021, Callaway and Santana 2021, and Borzak, Joavel and Spies 2021. Although difference in difference via dummy variables or the two-way fixed effects model have been easy to estimate in eViews for a long time, eViews 13 introduces a new interface that streamlines the implementation of the two-way fixed effects model and allows estimation of the advanced methods introduced in the last couple of years. To demonstrate, we will begin with data provided by Austin Nichols that can be used to replicate the study by Stevenson and Wolfers in 2006. This study analyzed the impact of the introduction of no-fault divorce reforms on female suicide rates. The data contain annual suicide rates for US states between 1964 and 1996. Throughout this period, a number of states, at different times, introduced no-fault divorce reform. These data were also analyzed by Goodman Bacon 2021. We can retrieve the data directly from the internet using the WF open command. We can see the data on an annual panel covering 49 states. The series ASMRS contains the female suicide mortality rate. The series post contains a dummy variable indicating whether an observation is in a no-fault divorce environment. To estimate a simple two-way fixed effects model using eViews' built-in difference and difference engine, we click on Quick, Estimate Equation, and then change the method to DID. This method is only available in work files with a panel structure. The outcome variable is the divorce rate, ASMRS, and the treatment variable is post. We click OK to estimate the equation and produce the output. We can see that the overall average impact of the introduction of no-fault divorce reform is to reduce the female suicide mortality rate by 3.08. By clicking on View, Difference and Difference Diagnostics, we can view the Goodman-Bacon decomposition of the two-way fixed effects model. Goodman-Bacon decomposes the overall fixed effects model into pairs of two by two combinations of treatment groups. Based on whether a treatment group is being compared to a group that never receives treatment, has always received treatment, receives treatment before, or receives treatment after the treatment group. The average treatment effect is displayed for each of those combinations along with the weight that combination contributed towards the overall two-way fixed effects estimate of minus 3.08. Goodman Bacon argues that the later versus earlier group actually violates the assumption that allows the two-way fixed effects estimator to function, and as such the overall estimate may be inaccurate if the weight of the later versus earlier group is large, and the coefficients estimated in that group differ from the other groups. In our case, we can see that this group's weight is significant, and the average coefficient estimate for this group is drastically different. The graph of individual pairing coefficients displays similar information. Each dot represents a coefficient estimate, and they are color-coded by group. The black line represents the overall estimate of minus 3.08. We can see that the yellow dots, representing the later versus earlier group, are higher or more positive than the other groups. As a second example, we'll use the data analyzed by Callaway and Santana. They studied the impact of minimum wage increases on teenage employment levels. 
We have a work file containing county level teen employment between 2003 and 2007 for 500 counties. During these years, the federal minimum wage remained constant, but certain states had state level minimum wage increases. Observations within counties based in a state that had a minimum wage increase are the treated group, but different states introduced the minimum wage increase at different dates, meaning the treatment groups have different treatment dates. The series LEMP contains the employment data, and the series treated is a dummy variable equal to 1 if an observation has been subject to a minimum wage increase. We again begin by estimating the two-way fixed effects model by clicking on Quick, Estimate Equation, changing the estimation method to DID, and then entering LEMP as our dependent variable, and treated as the treatment variable. The output shows that the two-way fixed effects estimate of the average impact of an increase on the minimum wage on teen employment is negative 0.037. This matches the figure given in Callaway and Santana. We can view a chart of the average level of employment for each of the treatment groups through time by clicking on View, Difference and Difference Diagnostics, Trend Summary Graph. The red line displays the average employment level each year for counties in states that do not receive a minimum wage increase. The orange line displays the average employment level for counties in a state that received a minimum wage increase in 2006. The blue line represents counties in a state that received a wage increase in 2004, and the green line is for 2007. This chart can be used to visualize the assumption of parallel trends. We'll view the Callaway Santa Ana decomposition by again clicking on View, Difference and Difference Diagnostics, and selecting CS Group Time Effects. We can choose whether to use the never treated individuals or not yet treated individuals as the comparison groups in the CS decomposition. We'll go with the original paper and use never treated. We can also add additional regressors to the decomposition if we wish, but we'll leave this blank. The output is split into sections. The first area shows the overall CS average estimate of the impact of an increase in minimum wage on teen employment. The value of minus 0 0.039 compares closely with the original two-way fixed effects value. The next section shows the individual components of their decomposition. Each row shows the coefficient value for a pairing, which is computed as the difference between the employment level in each year after treatment and the years before treatment, compared with the difference for the non-treated group over the same periods. For example, the third row shows data for individuals treated in 2004, observed in 2006, and compared to 2003. There were 20 such cases in the data. The remainder of the output aggregates these differences either through grouping by observation date, by treatment date, or by time since treatment. 